Hello, hello. I've arrived. All right, so time for more Tales of Arise. Yes, that is what we will be doing today. Let's see. So before we get into, hold on, I just remembered all this a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago, I decided to come up with a, start brainstorming a new greeting. And I've consistently forgotten to employ it. So let me do that real quick. <clears throat> hello, hello. I've arrived. Future man, researcher, artist, VTuber. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. There we go. Not so sure I like the delivery on that, but that's something I can work on. At least I remember to say it this time. But yes. So, today, Tales of Arise, like we, like I said, tomorrow we should be seeing some more uh, V A eh, V A Eleven Hall A Cyberpunk Bartender action with our good friend Sheppy Sheps. Then on Friday, on Friday we should be seeing some more Tales of Arise because I have confirmed that I will not be out of town on Friday like I had initially believed I would be. So yes, so that is the. That is the days. I forgot to mention the times. So, tomorrow we should be streaming at 8.30 p.m. Central Time, roughly. Maybe, maybe not. We were about, or we are about, uh, an hour late to today's stream. So, I don't anticipate being late to tomorrow's stream, but we will see. We will see what happens. Yeah, then Friday we should be back to the usual time, assuming nothing goes terribly wrong. But yes. So, let's see. So that is this week. Let me check next week. I don't think I have anything coming up next week that would impact the schedule in any way, but I don't know for sure. But yeah. It doesn't doesn't look like it. Not that I can recall anyway. So, I don't know. If something does come up, we'll see, but but yes. So, 7th or er, 8.30 p.m. Central Time, roughly, for the Thursday stream, and then 7.30 p.m. Central Time, roughly, for the Friday stream. Yes. Like I said, I will be out of town over the weekend. That may impact the rate at which VODs get uploaded. I'm not super consistent with that in, the, in general, at the best of times. So we'll see what I can do, but let's see. What else is there to say? Oh yeah, I guess, yeah. Just again to comment, I, I am late today, late by about an hour, yeah, due to having to, yeah, prepare dinner, having to take care of the dog on my own. Typically I have uh, some housemates who handle a lot of that for me. For me is a strong way to put it. They handle it because they, you know, live here and they also eat food and uh, enjoy dogs. But yes, they do not do it on my behalf. They do it on behalf of themselves and on behalf of, of the dog. To be clear. But yeah, so I think... I might need to change my eye tracking settings a little bit, considering that it's seems to think that my eyes are closed most of the time. Which they are not. Not most of the time, anyway. Let me... In fact, yeah, let me go and tinker with that real quick. Because I don't, I don't like the results I'm getting right now.
Alright, so that should be a little bit better. I just... hold on. Where'd the chat go? Huh. Hmm. I don't know where my chat went. There we go. Oh, there we go. Anyway. TV126, thank you for the lurk. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, anyway. So. This is the first stream that I'm doing using both the new laptop and the old computer. So we'll, yeah. Thank you for the, thank you for the emotes. Yes. So we'll see how, hold on. Hold up. Why is the chat? Why is there two chats? Oh, that's strange. All right. I'll need to look into that because that shouldn't be happening. Anyway video games. So yes. So, we may have to do a little bit more troubleshooting on the game here, possibly, but it seems like not. It seems like the audio is working, it seems like the video is working. And I really hope that the video is working because, wait, hold on. Oh, there we go. Because yeah, I had to, uh, I actually did have to mess with that a little bit before we got started here. Can you hear it? Good. Yeah, the audio should be fine. The audio, I wasn't having any issues with the audio, but I did have some issues with the video not coming through initially. But we should be fine now. And yeah, this, yeah, this will be, this will be the save file we were on. So yeah, I've also got my microphone in a slightly different position than usual. So hopefully, feels odd here. I'm slightly turned away from the microphone while I'm talking, while I'm playing the game. So hopefully that shouldn't cause any issues. Hmm. Seems that my eye tracking is still having some issues. Let me mess with that a little bit more. I may just need to go back to the... Hungry. Funny. I, could have sworn that... I may just need to go back and... Yeah, I've been trying out the RTX tracking. I've enjoyed it for the most part, but it's not... I don't know. I don't like... I don't... I have some issues with it. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to do the eye tracking very well. Everything else on it's pretty good, but the eye tracking is somewhat of a problem. So give me just one second again. Alright, back again. And it seems... It seems to be better now. Or at least it's not closed all the time when I look over. So... We'll just sort of... Hmm? No, it's still having some issues. Hmm? You know what? I think we'll just sort of live with this for now. I may just have to live with this for now. Or actually, hold on. I think I know what might be the problem. All right, I just realized I don't actually know what the problem is. <laughs> I thought I thought about something for a minute, but I realized that's probably not it. So, we might just need to might just need to live with it. Also, I think I well, you know, I'm we're not going to worry about it. Like I said, I want to play the game at some point. So yeah, that's that's not the issue. Hmm. 
Well, anyway. The show must go on and all that. This is this is going to bother me endlessly, but we'll have to live with it. So yes. Yeah. So last time on Tales of Arise, Gion had a pretty bad day. <laughs> pretty bad day. She was feeling unwell for reasons that are not immediately clear. And then she was feeling unwell for reasons that are pretty immediately clear because she was stabbed in the chest, and that's no good. But uh as we've as we've established, Chion is can take a chest wound like a champ. So she's doing alright now. Probably could be better still. But she's doing alright now. Oh. Yes. I kinda wasn't expecting to get there quite this quickly. Yeah, very interesting place. Oh, I just realized I don't have the steam alert sound Are we needed. Are in the right place? This place looks like a mess. That's unfortunate. Yes, this is Niez, the capital of Mahag Sar. I don't see any signs of people, and the buildings. Yeah, the usual stuff. Doesn't seem I suppose. like the kind of place people would actually live. No soldiers, no Danans, not a soul to be seen. Yet look at these facades. This is clearly a Renan district. Hmm. Hey, check out that drawing on the castle gate. That's the Darkwing's crest. Mm-hmm. Uh, wait, hold on. Do we know who the what the Darkwings are? It's from an are? old Danan legend about a oh, hero okay. who defeated an evil king with a torch and their trusty owl. That's his crest. I'm sure of it. All right, I suppose we know now. Really? First time I'm hearing it. So if someone drew it on the gate... It must mean the Renans have lost control of the city. Interesting. Are you suggesting the Danans rose up and defeated the Lord here? Hard to believe, but not entirely unthinkable given the evidence. I mean, given given us, it's Let's certainly not impossible. See if we can Granted, find most other they might be able to tell us what groups happened. of Danans probably wouldn't have a master core powered weapon, but you know. This is right. horrible. Is there truly no one here? Well, I can't say this is the sort of place that I'd want to hang out for an extended period of time. So real quick. Sar, a land where the winds scar and the clouds stretch far. Kisara, what is he doing? Thank you for your insight. Reciting a poem, apparently. Just let him be. All right. So let's mess with my Steam settings now. Or not my Steam settings, my audio settings on this computer. Because I need to mute my Steam notifications so that you don't hear every single screenshot that I take because I'm going to take a lot. Alright. So that should do it. Alright, I don't hear it, so you shouldn't hear it either. And I... <laughs> I will do everything within my power to make sure that this is the, the last time that I have to stop the stream to do something else. All right, so, more All dialogue. All ruins look like they were made pretty recently. But if that's they the sure case, do. then where do you think the people that used to live here went off to? There must have been Danans and Renans, right? That's a good question. I mean, Maybe anywhere would be better than a place that has actively been exploded there recently. There still be some people around. This debris. Do you think it could be the work of Renan Astral Arts? Perhaps, but the appearance of these ruins is rather uniform, which leads me to believe otherwise. Hey, Ringwell, hmm. that story you told us about the Dark Wings, it said that the evil king was vanquished with a holy flame, right? Yeah, that's right. Then there might be some truth to that old story after all. It looks like all the rubble here had been scarred by flames. Hmm. Let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. If we can find someone around here, we might be able to get them to tell us what happened. Yeah, it's interesting that every single realm that we've been to so far has sort of had a decreasing level of... I don't know, maybe not decreasing directly, but they've sort of tended towards being less and less... Re uh, yeah, Renan controlled. Dohalim, you forgot to take care of the fire yesterday. What do you mean, take care of? Ah, yes, you meant to put it out? Fire safety is no yeah. joke. 
If it stays lit, we could end up in real trouble real fast. I see. I apologize for not realizing that. I shall be more careful in the future. The way he's talking, it's like the thought of putting it out himself never even occurred to him. Probably Moving didn't. Moving on, Dohalim, I should mention that the clasp for your cape is about to come undone. Oh yes, I tried to fix that myself, but it simply refused to cooperate with me. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Are you telling me Renans can't even dress themselves? Lords like Dohalim have a tendency to well. take care of just about everything they need, so I'm not surprised he sometimes struggles with the basics. Even by those standards, you've got to admit, this is still a little extreme. Shion has got a point. I mean, you don't see Renans like her needing so much help to get stuff done. In my case, circumstances forced me to learn how to be independent. Even so, I still think Dohalim could afford to pick up a few more self-sufficient skills. Hmm. Well, specifically speaking, what would you suggest that I learn? Well, For not starters, burning a, burning down any given wilderness that we live in. And put on shoes. Is probably pretty your important. Hair is equally important and learning to manage your possessions better and then from there she sounds like his mom rattling all that off oh and another thing about your owl rinwell what what is it when he starts to molt would you be willing to give me his old feathers i think i could find a use for them what do you intend to do with those well, recently, I haven't been sleeping well. Mm. However, I hear pillows made from owl feathers are very comfortable and wish to make one. <laughs> this is why I hate you, Renans! A little bit Did I there, say Renwell. something offensive? Next time, put your own needs aside for a second and think about how someone might react first. Then consider if it's worth asking at all. Yeah, this is quite the state this place is in, huh? Hmm. Alright, I know I I know I said that I wouldn't mess with it anymore, but the, the eye tracking is really bothering me. It's very distracting. But we're gonna live with it. Regardless. Yeah. It really is an interesting interesting situation that this place is in. I've gotta say. Destruction aside, I do like the, the color scheme in this area. The sort of blues and purples. It wasn't quite what I was expecting. Yeah, I guess in video games I tend to associate wind with the color green. But I guess we just came from a place that was pretty heavily green. There you are. Yeah, we just came from a place that's pretty green, so... Red Rose Corsage. A root. Rose hair clip exuding class. You can never go wrong with one of these when attending a last minute ball. But yeah, we just came from a realm that was pretty predominantly pretty predominantly green. So it wouldn't necessarily make sense to have yeah, have the green color scheme twice in a row. Yeah, very interesting. Very interesting to see all of this. Just the general state of this place. I don't quite recall how to pronounce the, the name of the city. Riaz? Riz? Yeah, so like I was getting at, sort of the... The realms that we've been to have sort of tended towards lower levels of Ganon control or Ren and Control as we've gone through them, or if not Control, at least Overt Authority. Because, you know, we started out in Calaglia, which was just generally kind of awful. Just constant, miserable oppression and toil. Then we went into over, over into Cislodia, which was similarly pretty bad, but... Similarly pretty bad, but it was... What are those out in the valley? They are windmills, and They're they are huge. huge. They're most likely used to harvest wind astral energy, so they have to be big. Makes sense. But yeah, so... Where was I? Oh yes. So, Cislodia was also similarly terribly oppressive, but it was, you know, it was a place where sort of the order was kept by threats, or by, uh, not by threats, but by, uh, not 
not by force, but sort of by the su the suggestion of force, the threat of having a thing or people acting upon you, reporting you and all that to the to the authorities who would then deal with you, rather than yeah all of any given thing happening to you, you know immediately. Yeah, then of course we went into. Uh, Oh, I just, we just came from there, and I don't remember the name. But yes, the realm, the realm that we were just in, the realm that we were just in, which, you know, was pretty nice, all things considered. Pretty nice, relatively speaking, at the very least. Not a terrible place to live. All of you, stop right there. Don't move. Oh, well, we've already moved a little bit. They have us surrounded. Who are you? Where did you come from? Well, you unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I forgot the I'm name of that realm. So. Questions here. Don't try anything funny. One wrong move, and I guarantee we'll blow you away. I would expect nothing less what from the you? Wind Realm. My name is Alfin. I came here from Calaglia. Alfin, the wielder of the blazing sword. That's us. Getting pretty famous, isn't he? Here is my proof. Will that suffice? Or do I have to burn down one of those houses to make my point? Hmm. No need. I believe you. Yeah, and of course now we're in a realm that seems to be already in the process of being overthrown. I'm Bayfon of the Dark Wings. Sorry for threatening to blow you away. It's fine. We're still hunting down the remnants of the enemy forces. So everyone's more than a bit on edge right now. Please forgive me. Remaining? Wait, you mean you already took down the lord of this realm? That's right. We took her weapons and turned them right back on her. Oh, okay. Are you the Danon leader here in Niaz? Yes. Nah, I'll try to remember just that. one of the commanders. Deadheim's the one who runs the show. I'd be happy to take you to him. Just one problem. Hmm. The Renans. Seems the rumors you were running with them were true. Well? You do understand, right? I mean, we only just liberated the city from their kind. Everyone's short on trust. And for good reason. Especially Deadeye. I think it'd be best if those two waited outside. I get it, but I... Would appreciate it if you would not be so rude to my friends. Not going to happen. I don't think it's a good idea for us to split up. It's too dangerous. Even Rinwell. Even Rinwell agrees. <sighs> then it's on your head, friend. Our base is that way. You could have left me behind, you know. He would not have. This isn't just about you, Dohalim. Ah, yes. I guess even after you beat the Renans, your work's only really just begun, huh? Yeah. This place seems like it's got a lot of issues to fix. Well, it's got a lot of damage to fix, if nothing else. But, yes. Oh, yep. That's a Renan gun right there, too. Nice touch. Yeah, I do like the attention to detail in this game. It's very nice. Elder Men and Sia. That's what, it, that's what the place is called. So you're Elfin, are ya? Thought you'd be bigger. Huh. Guess the armor beefs you up a bit. A bit. You've got a lot of people talking, you know. But in this town, I call the shots. Hmm. You play by my rules here. Just remember... I'm moderately that. concerned about Dead Eye here. Or Dead Eye. I gotta say, I didn't expect you to run with a gang of women and kids. Those other lords must have been hmm. real pushy. I really don't like this guy, actually. Seriously? Are you this rude to everyone you meet? Don't interrupt me, you brat. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? Why, you? Well? So you're the one who took down the lord of this realm, huh? I feel like we're probably gonna have to fight some of these guys. <laughs> we just swiped the Renan's explosives. Then we blasted them all to hell and back. Explosives? That's a pretty bold approach. But how'd you manage to avoid hurting your own people? 
I didn't, that's how. Oh. The chance to take out a lord was worth the sacrifice. Well? And the lord? What did this sacrifice earn you? Yeah, I definitely don't like this guy. Managed to finish her off. But now we've really got the girl on the run. She ran? A lord? Yeah, the lady was just a coward. She had a whole lot more bark than bite, that's for sure. She's probably hiding off in a hole somewhere. But not for long. We'll find her and drag her right back into town. Then she'll get what's coming to her. I wouldn't be so sure. She may run, but she'll never go quiet. Shut up, Bright Eyes! I would have run you through already if you weren't with the Blazing Sword here. The whole reason you're fighting is to free the Danans in this realm, is it not? If Shut so, your then. Mouth, witch, that's enough! Hmm. If you're really fighting for I us, don't like Danans, this guy. Why keep these bastards around? Why haven't you killed them already? Because I'm they're not helping going us. Kill these bastards. Also, they're our friends. Is that the case, huh? This show. They're my friends. <sighs> exactly so. Friends? Renants are renants. The scum sucking bastards who've been training our souls for 300 years now. I understand that you're upset. But I will not, I will not tolerate this. I suppose we probably about time we left. Dead on. You know that was completely uncalled for. Hmm. All of you, get the hell out of my realm, and don't ever come back. This it really is doesn't sound like this guy's gonna make any things any better. I call the shots here, and I make the rules. I do. Dead I'm leader of the Dark Way. Yeah, Dead I'm. Liberator Deadeye! You are the true leader of this realm. We're not afraid of any bright eyes. It's only a matter of time before I throw every last Let's bright eye out of this realm. The Dark Wings! The Dark Wings rule! Well, it looks like we might just have to liberate this realm from the from the Danans, which is interesting. Hey, wait up. Well, I'll Told oblige you, so, you but. You should have left your Renan pals outside. You don't agree with him, do you? I could tell by the look on your face in there. That's how things are with him. He loses his temper, then I step in and calm things down. Better you than me. Sit. If that's all, I think it's past time we were going. Look, I just wanted to apologize for what Deadheim said in there. I appreciate that you're polite, but that doesn't change the situation. <laughs> At least somebody's got some manners around here. He didn't used to be like that, but, well, that's what losing most of your loved ones will do to a man. There's a lot of He may never today. forgive the Renants. It's a little ironic how indistinguishable his manner is to that of a lord. <sighs> hey, Bathon, Dead I mentioned the lord is still on the run. Any ideas where she might be? We looked all over, but found no traces of her. We heard some rumblings about activity in Esteluva Forest, but that's it. Esteluva, mm. huh? Wait, you're not going after her, are you? Certainly won't win you any favors with Deadheim. This isn't Deadheim's war, and we're certainly not fighting it for him. Besides, it's like Shion said, her type isn't going to go quietly. Yeah. Hey, it's your funeral. Don't say I didn't warn you. I mean, we'll be to sure be to fair, you out of it. we have a three Before for three track out, record with the feeding lords. Anywhere around here we we didn't kill Dohalim, sure, but we we'll didn't need the end to. Of the road, opposite side. It's all yours. We use it as temporary lodging to house people who don't have a new place to live quite yet. We're not going to run into any trouble there, are we? Rumors of a certain fiery sword have spread fast. I doubt anyone will be eager to give you guys problems. That's good. And we've certainly given right ourselves well. some problems. You're on your own, but good hunting. Before you go, how come you don't hate the Renins as well? Because he's a decent person. Oh, believe me. 
I've got my bone to pick with the Renans. Just not with two of them I've never so much as laid eyes on before. <laughs> Let's head on over to that lodge. We'll figure out what our next move is there. Yeah, quite the, quite the about face there, huh? <laughs> I get the feeling Dead I'm signed up to be a rebel, so he could have a roost to rule. Absolutely, absolutely. Heck, he's no better than a lord. In some ways, he's even worse. I know. How could he use explosives on his own people? And yet, despite the toll of his actions, none of the Danans we've seen seem to question his assumed authority in the least. They probably don't if want anything, to get exploded themselves. They may well consider him a hero, which would say a great deal toward how deeply they resented the Renans here. Still, I don't think this is as simple as saying the good guys won out over the bad ones. Yeah, For sure. Either. Deadeye might have managed to drive the Renans out of Niaz, but that doesn't make the way he did it okay. No matter which way you look at it. A victory that's earned by throwing away the lives of his own people? No, that isn't a victory at all. I can understand that the Danans here are standing up against their oppression, but that doesn't mean they have to humiliate all Renans just to settle the score. I'm perfectly able to stand up for myself, Alfin. Besides, I'm used to it by... Listen, you we're not going to be Shion. Yeah, we're that's not going to let you be used to it. What I mean to say is... You deserve you've respect. You've been a slave for so long... It's easy to accept that's how it should be because it's all you've ever known. Constantly being belittled is no different. I don't think that's fair. For me or for you. Uh. I just don't know, man. Don't know what? Did I manage to drive out a real live Renan Lord? That's incredible. And he seems to have a lot of supporters surrounding him too. But he's got an attitude worse than any angry Zoogle. Plus, Niaz is in utter ruins. I don't have a clue what his game is. I don't know that he the really Renans had a plan powerful. besides and cause, that, cause trouble for Renans and become, um, become in charge. However, when you take down one dictator only to replace them with another, ultimately it's just business as usual. If it had been Zephyr instead of Deadime, I don't think things would have turned out like this. Oh no, they'd be so I much will. better. Yeah. If Zephyr was in charge of anywhere, it would be the best Zephyr place on any either planet. He's not the kind of person who would have forced his own views or decisions on other people. When you do that, you're ruling over others, not leading them. To be honest, I don't know what I would have wanted my dad to do if he was in that position. Law. The whole thing feels weird in a way. It's a weird kind of feeling. But at the same time, part of me also feels... happy? Dead Eye and my dad are two very different men. For now, I'm content knowing that. The city is liberated, Lots of dialogue yet today. the air still hums with fear and anxiety. Yeah, I suppose that's what happens when it you go as long as we did well without seeing, seeing much story. Hums? You mean like music? Yeah, none of this sounds like music to my ears. In fact, I've never seen any Danans with musical instruments in my life. You don't need instruments to play music. It can emerge naturally from that the sounds of people I going guess about their day. Cislodia is probably not the of sort of place where you play a lot of music. You seem to care a lot about music, Dohalim. I may not be. That about you. Probably isn't very common Have in other realms either. It. Before I was a candidate for the lordship, I had my heart set on the life of a musician. You? A musician? I mean, he's got Indeed. that that violin in his room. The world around or, us. Was it a violin? Or something. To my art. Words could not describe my bliss as my notes carried with them the sights and sounds of nature, the ebb and flow of time, and the thoughts of people on the wind. <clears throat> Dohalim. Forgive me. Listen, he likes to my be. He likes to be poetic. It's fine. It's fine. Don't apologize. It's interesting hearing what Renan culture is like. <laughs> Loquaciousness is also is also greatly culture. appreciated here. Personally, I was interested in the music of Dana as well. The fact that generations of lords deemed music to be of no use to their slaves. Okay, and so that would seem to indicate that, yeah, instruments. no, no instruments were anywhere. Not, that my words can not just Cislodia. 
<laughs> Let's see what the talk around town is. Alright, nobody wants to talk to us around town so far. Hmm. <sighs> Why does everybody have to be such cowards? If we don't get thing this taken care of, things are never going to change. What's wrong? What's got you down, friend? <sighs> Zoogles, that's what. Pretty common variety of them, to be more specific. Rumors say it was the Lord's favorite kind of Zoogle, so people are afraid to go anywhere near them. All right. I can understand their hesitation. If you need them gone, we're more than capable of taking care of them for you. What the? Hold on, pal. I don't want you. I don't want you to just exterminate them. You could bring back any useful materials from them. That'd be great too. Mm -hmm. You want us to retrieve Zoogle parts? For what? Are you building something? Not building. Studying. If I can demonstrate that even fearsome, dangerous Zoogles can be used to make handy tools, that'll motivate people to hunt them even more. The Monster Hunter approach. I can respect that. We can't expect folks like you to come along and solve all our problems for us, after all. So, you're trying to be more self-sufficient. That's very commendable of you. Actually, about those materials you're looking for, this isn't what you're looking about what you're talking about, is it? Yeah! Oh yeah, it totally is. Can I convince you to share what you have with me? Sure. Good. I think we probably have a reasonable amount of demi human muscle. I don't I don't know where we would have been getting it. I think maybe from the apes. But we have enough of it, to be sure. Well, maybe not. I don't know. But I don't think we I've seen any crafting recipes so far that require it. Yeah, go ahead and help yourself. I'd rather it go to someone who can use it than keep weighing us down. Great, you're one generous bunch of people, you know that? Now to see what I can turn all this, of this into. All right. I'm sure I'll be able to make something useful. Thank you so much. Very nice. Oh, and we've learned how to make a new recipe. Delightful. Dead Eye's getting kind of scary. Seems like he'll st practically stop at nothing to win. I agree. His temper seems to be a lot worse than it used to be. But what can you expect? Fighting the bright eyes takes its toll on people. Well, not so good that people around here are making excuses for him, but I suppose... I suppose they see this as a moral victory, if not as a victory victory. I heard someone who stormed Almadra's ca as yeah, I heard from someone who stormed Almadra's not Almadrea Almadrea? That sounds that sounds better than Almadra. Almadrea's castle that they couldn't find the spirit vessel. Yeah. Akfodal Hills lie just just across from this gate. If you venture southwest, you'll find the road to Adon Lake. If you go northwest instead, you'll eventually find Esta Aluva the Forest. Stay west, and you'll come upon the Adon Ruins. Wherever you go, you're bound to encounter ferocious zoogles, so travel with caution. So, you're the Liberator from Calaglia, are you? I see the rumors of you walking around with bright eyes are true. For sure. This what's the big idea, Sonny. Keeping company with bright eyes is only going to lead to trouble. I wonder who's stronger, Alfin, the Blazing Sword of Calaglia, or Deadeye, the leader of the Black Dark Wings. I feel like we're going to we're going to put that to the test before too long here. I bet it's Deadeye. I've only heard rumors about the Blazing Sword, but I know Deadeye's the real deal. Hmm. Seems that the situation here. Well, eh, I don't know. Maybe this is just. A training exercise or something. No, okay, they're just they are prepared to fight, okay. Listen carefully. This fight isn't over yet. Don't think you can relax yet. Got it? Okay, everyone, form a line. I'm gonna hand out everything we raided from the bright eyes. Food, clothes, there's lots of stuff to go around. <sighs> I'm so grateful. The Renas might be gone, but I never imagined surviving would be this hard. These are the headquarters of the Dark Wings. Right now, these are temporary accommodations, but at some point, I imagine we'll build something better and move into that. 
We Darkwings are going to find and wipe out every last Bright Eyes and rule over Mahaksar. If anyone deserves to lead Donna, it's Dead Eye. He hates them Bright Eyes more than anyone. Yes, hatred is a very... Uh, I don't I don't even want to say that in jest. Hatred is not, not the quality of a ruler, I don't think. Yeah, not even... I will not even say that as a joke. If only we'd been able to finish all Nadrea off from the start, we would have been able to avoid this all this other fighting, don't you think? Yeah, that worked pretty well for us. That's worked pretty well for us. Yeah, we could have taken Niaz without everything being so damaged. Not even the outskirts were spared. Shh! I wouldn't say that too loudly if I were you. If any of Deadheim's followers hear you talking like that, you'll be in trouble. Yes, this certainly isn't... certainly isn't any... any way to be... So I suppose we'll take our rest and then we'll get on to the onto the rest of our business. I wonder if something happened. Hmm. Well, a lot happened, but Yeah, there's a lot of people in this inn, huh? Don't you think Dead Eye's changed recently? What? I mean aside from the fact that he's a big hotshot now? You know, without him, there's no way we would have ever kicked the Renans out. I get that, but he's really different now compared to how he used to be. When I, when what little I had burned down with my home, I thought we were going to die on the streets. That's why I'm so grateful we were able to stay here. It really saved our lives. That's what made the Darkwing such good people. When I grow up, I'm going to join them too. West. <sighs> I sure wish there was more to go around. Oh yeah. What are you talking about? Our rations, we're always running short on them, so it's, it's never enough to be comfortable. We could really do with some rice, potatoes, beef, and some spices in particular. We've got, we've got plenty of those things, I think. If that's what you need, we've got some right here. Is this enough? <laughs> Whoa, you're so generous! Thank you! Yes, that'd help a lot. I don't have much to offer in return, but I'll teach you my family's secret recipe if you like. Absolutely. Curry. Curry roux made from various spices poured on top of rice. The strong, spicy aroma and flavor make the rice feel that much more filling to eat. Great! Ooh, this sounds delicious. Yes. Yeah, I can't wait to try it. Doesn't look all that hard to fix either. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. Hey, uh, Kisara, if it's really that simple, would you teach me how to cook it? Hmm? Wow, you're actually interested in making food now, not just eating it? Uh -huh. What does it matter to you? I just like to put a certain someone in his place for complaining about my cooking earlier. Good. <laughs> well, I'd love to teach you, but my training isn't going to be easy. Think you're ready? Really? It's that serious? Sure, I guess. Hit me with what you've got. But promise me you won't tell anyone else I asked this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> my lips are sealed. But in return, you have to call me Captain while we're training. Deal? What? Uh, okay, Captain. You're supposed to say, yes, Captain. Yes! Yes, Captain. <laughs> that was a fun little All scene. Right. Now we can begin your training. Right. I see you've, you have some freshly caught fish there. Perfect. We'll use that as well. Really? What? But the recipe doesn't call for fish. What? Are you trying to talk back to your superior? No, ma'am. You're supposed to say, yes, Captain. Huh? What? Oh, okay, so we've got another quest here. Nice. The quest where Xion learns to cook, I guess. All right. Good. Now it looks like we have everything we need. Now we dive into culinary the culinary trenches. Yes. Y yes, Captain. Over there. Is that how you hold a knife? What are you doing trying to do, private? Dance with it? Huh? No, of course. You're supposed to say, yes, Captain. Yes. Y yes, Captain. All right. Pay attention. Turn up that fire. Boil that water. You don't have time to let your eyes wander. Yes. Yes, Captain. A lot of personality here. Very fun. <sighs> it's all, all finished. Huh. So it is. 
Its flavor and presentation get a passing grade. You've got promise, but there's still room for improvement. I'll have to keep training every day. Do I make myself clear? All right. Yes, Captain. <sighs> Guess I've got a long way to go before my food is perfect. I'll show him. One day my food will taste so good it'll knock his armor off. Excellent. I don't know who paid us to train to have Kisara train Shion how to eat. By the by, Shion, if you don't mind my asking, would you be willing to share what sort of clothes are currently in fashion on Rena sometime? Sure. As long as you call me Captain. Sir, <laughs> yes, sir, Captain Shion. I was just joking. Kinda has a nice ring to it though. Very nice. We have to stay alert. Can't let our guard down till we finally capture all major. Almadrea. Those Renan stooges ran with their tails between their legs. Once Almadrea is out of the picture, the age of bright the bright eyes will finally be over. Have you gone up past the Akfodal Hills before? You should. There are some great fishing spots to find in both the lake and lakes and ruins. We lost our home. Everything's gone. I know. But that's what happens when you choose to fight the Rena. But it's not all bad, honey. We live to see the day we won. That's worth celebrating, isn't it? There are people resting upstairs who have lost their home, so try to keep it down while you're here. Let's see. This? Are you the Blazing Sword of Calaglia? You're welcome to stay here if you like, but just don't cause any trouble while you're here, understand? That dead I'm creep certainly has a few screws loose. That's for sure. Absolutely. That guy. Right now, we need to discuss how we're going to proceed. What's there to discuss? Dead I'm and his crew have already brought down the Lord here. Just let them finish her off. Hmm. I feel like I that's probably not a great her. idea. I second that. I think it's the best thing to do right now. We don't know if the Dark Wings have what it takes to beat her. I'm worried what'll happen if we leave her to her own devices. You make a good point, Rinwell. And maybe I'm just being overconfident, but between us and them, I think we have a better chance at defeating her. I mean, again, we I do have, have a agree. we do have a three this for three record be of beating Ren and Lords, Lord and they have a zero for one record we of beating Ren and Lords. Fine by me, but isn't Dead I'm just gonna take all the credit once we're done? Our job is to break down the walls that oppress Dana. What he chooses to build in their place, that's his problem. Hmm. For I now, feel like we should have an eye towards Forest, the long-term well-being we of the though, of the we planet some time to rest and the first. people thereof. We've barely stopped since Men and Sia. Yeah, what Deadime does is, I think, our concern. Maybe it's not something that we need to, you know, it's not our responsibility per se, but. I think it is best that we not, you know, let him just do Where's whatever terrible thing he wants. Alfin. You should get some rest. What's got you up at this hour? Just let me be for a minute, okay? Why don't you go back to the inn? I mean, that would, under normal circumstances, be a pretty reasonable oh, request, but this that. is probably the worst place that you could be on your own without the rest of the party, considering that the people here have already expressed a desire to kill you. Have it your way. So yes, I would appreciate it if you would not Shion. take action that endangers your life very much. I haven't forgotten our promise. You can trust me, you know. Maybe even lean on me a little. If you want. And if I say I will, will you finally give it a rest? I'll give it a rest once you give it a rest. Yeah, of course. Try to get some rest, okay? What was all that about? What indeed? What indeed? So we're just going to check things out, right? In whatever that forest is called. Estaluva Forest. Next time, pay attention. All right, Chion. 
you still you don't sound like you're much improved from last from yesterday. All right, so now we're in Mahaksar properly. It's in very interesting that we got to the the capital before we got the title card for the area. Ah, got sand in my eyes. The winds That's are strong so here. Mind yourselves. Oh, even the inside of my mouth is all sandy. I guess that's why they wear the away, okay? wear the clouds over their face. Gotta protect themselves. Oh hi. You look like you're in need. <sighs> oh I forgot about this guy, Gordino. <clears throat> oh? Oh, it's that foodie again. Yes. I remember you. You're that young woman who's always starving. I haven't seen you since we last met in Eldemenencia. <sighs> You're the one who's always hungry. Anyway, I take it you found another recipe on your travels? Very nice. I most certainly did. I'm glad we can finally we can cut to the chase then. Is that so? Gion, who might this fellow be? This is Gordino. He travels around Dan in search of new recipes to try. You don't say. A fine quest to embark on, if I do say so myself. My name is Dohalin, kind sir. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. How? Oh. Wow, the Dohalim, Lord of Elderman and Sia? It's an honor, my, my lord. Your beef stew was absolutely exquisite. I see. You honor me, kind sir. However, how is it you came by the palace's top secret dish? Hey. Uh, anyway, what is it you need from us this time, exactly? Come on, spit it out. Right. Oh. Ah, Ryan. All right, so we're checking out the only the only game where the distance you are to the sun is directly proportional to the amount of Florida man that you possess inside of your veins. <laughs> it's Universe Sandbox Two. But yeah, good to see you, Orion. Yeah, been a while. Yeah, thank you for dropping by. This time I'm looking for lettuce, apples, and lemons. Could I ask you to bring those to me? We should. Yeah, we should have those. Sure. If that's all you're looking for, we've got it right here. Nice work. In that case, I'll give you the recipe so you find people can cook it right away. Oh? Wow, this looks surprisingly simple. Even I might have a chance with this. Very nice. Wonderful. I'll leave the preparations up to you then. Need some chill vibes for this late for me? Gotcha, gotcha. And I will do my best to provide the chillest vibes that, that are possible. Well? Okay, it's all done. Oh, look at that beautiful dish. It smells just as divine, too. Now, to see how it tastes. Technically speaking, the ocean is a soup. Hmm. I feel like... Hmm. I guess if you... I guess if you drank a bowl of ocean water, it wouldn't kill you. I was going to say, I think in order to be a soup, it would need to be something that you could eat without dying. And while you... If you drank a lot of ocean, you would die... One one bowl of ocean would not kill you. What? Oh, this this is absolutely exquisite. Exquisitely bad, that is. What? Really? <sighs> I assured you, I followed the recipe for the so-called vitamin smoothie to the lo to the letter. Taste it for yourself, and then tell me if you're still confident in your concoction. Here. All right, down the hatch it goes. I don't believe this. See what I mean? Makes you want to vomit, doesn't it? All right. Wait a second. I see a small warning affixed to the bottom of this recipe. Smoothies made entirely from veggies are recommended for experienced dieters only. Beginners should add fruit juice for flavor. No. Young Miss, did you process only the lettuce? Even though I asked you to prepare apples and lemons as well? Sure. Oh, come on. Who's going to notice a stupid warning label that tiny? Really, now? Lesson learnt, Xion. We'll just have to add fruit and attempt this once more. <coughs> oh, pardon. Yes! Sit. <coughs> Very well. Let's take it from the top. What? Whoa, this, this is absolutely exquisite. 
Comparatively speaking, at least. What? You still don't sound all that enthused. Is this really the best recipe that Mahogsar has to offer? That most of us would rather money than would rather money than tangible wealth, and a great occasion is somehow spoiled for us unless photographed. And to read it about it in the ne next day in the newspaper is oddly more fun for us than the original event. Hmm. It is interesting to think about that. I guess sort of part of what makes, you know, newspapers and other sort of reporting as impactful as they are is you know, they're written by a person who whose job it is to make stories interesting. Whereas, you know, most people are not professional experience havers. So the experience that you have is only, you know, only whatever it is to you. Hmm. I believe so. When I first heard about this, it made me think of what I saw in Menencia. That combination of fruits and vegetables, it reminded me of Danins and Renins living together. I thought this recipe might capture such harmony. Well, well, the, yeah, the Renan and Dan in Harmony here has not been great. So I guess that maybe, maybe that's why the, the recipe has not been so harmonious as well. Very that's very true, nice. friend. Mm. If nothing else, it's the most healthy recipe you're sure to find out here. Mm. Indeed, I shall be sure to drink it so as to ensure that the precious Harmony lives on, even within the confines of my stomach. Yeah. Phew. Well, that was satisfying enough for the time being. I can now leave this realm with no regrets. <laughs> it's time I leave in search of even greater cuisines. Farewell, my culinary comrades. Actually, one more glass before I leave. Alright, alright. Hold on, we just got something. Well, that was a huge miscalculation. Yet you've drained your glass all the same. Hold on, we just got something. Let's see. What did we, what did we just get? Hmm, okay. I was going to say... I. Okay. Hmm. What is this, then? Yeah, a person who thinks all the time... Yeah, a person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts, so he loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions by thoughts. I mean specifically chatter in the skull, or by thoughts, I mean specifically chatter in the skull, perpetual and compulsive repetition of words, of reckoning and calculating. I'm not saying thinking is bad, like everything else, useful in moderation, a good servant, but a bad master. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, is this, this isn't a, an artifact, is it? Where do we, where do we keep those? Oh, it is. Yes, cooking effect boost one. Oh, very nice, very nice. The stone slab features a drawing of a maze. As for the rear side, an inscription reads, The golden glutton shall devour all in the maze. Source, Pac-Man and Bandai Namco Entertainment Incorporated. Very nice. So yeah, let's hear about the Valley of the Four Winds now that we're here. The winds outside the capital are blowing as strongly as ever. You can definitely see why people call this place the Valley of the Four Winds. Makes sense. Indeed. Mahogsar is the realm of wind, just as Ganeth Haros is for water. Okay. Earth, so yeah, the other water, one, the other fire, one on the realm wind, is is water. Light and darkness. Rena is aligned to darkness, leaving each realm one element each. Is that because some elements are easier to gather in certain areas than others? That is certainly possible. But I suspect the biggest reason is to prevent the lords from squabbling over resources. Also makes Funny. sense. He would think infighting would come naturally to an elite class vying for a crown. I mean, True, there is but there the is a certain amount of infighting, but Fighting they try to would just be destructive. Yeah, they try to Though, as you saw structure in it as in the crown contest. From fighting is merely a facade. In the end, you all get usurped whether you like it or not. Hmm. That may be true, but something tells me that this time is different. We have to catch up to the Lord first if we want answers. Let's keep moving. Well, I would like to keep moving, but I would also like to see more dialogue. But first, in the amount of people who think so much and loses loses the yeah, and loses loses the touch of reality and confuse them with the real world so much they become insane and crazy. I don't know where I'm going with this, but that this is what I can determine from my own message. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It feels, yeah, almost uh, almost poetic, the, the writing that you've been doing today. 
But yeah, have you been doing any any like writing or poetry recently? Oh, this is interesting. Just the sword here. I guess yeah. This is we are sort of in the middle of essentially an active war zone, more or less. Maybe this area is a little bit less active than the other war zone we were just in, which I guess also isn't super active considering that they won in Riaz. But you know, what is that ring of rocks over there for? Yeah, not really aside from my story that I've been imagining. Oh yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Funny, I guess I've gotten used to weird rock formations. Currently in season two. Oh. being out of the ordinary. Most likely. So yeah, so you've been doing sort of a. When we first invaded the planet. Wait, those? Original so writing then, or have you just been then? thinking of it? Basically? And if so, what in the world were they even used for? To manipulate the properties of Dana's astral energy. That really? makes sense, I suppose. Think about it. Isn't it strange that the type of energy each realm collects is so fixed? Astral energy by mm. nature isn't meant to skew towards one element or I another guess, so heavily. Yeah, we did establish that to so a certain extent. It for the crown we established that to a certain extent back Sounds when we were like in uh, Eldamen and Sia. Renans these days are more advanced than Danans in some ways, but even they don't seem capable of doing something on that grand a scale. Or mm. is that something that's possible on Lenegas? Or maybe the Renan homeworld? I can't claim to know everything about my own kind, but I myself have never seen anything that would be capable of such a drastic feat. But it's some interesting how even the that. even the Renans seem Those to have the sort of people were regressed against. somewhat. We should do our best not to forget that. Or at least the ones on Dana. Um, i a bit tired, so I'll be lurking. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So more character dialogue. You're so amazing, Kisara. You can cook, you can fix weapons. After this, we'll get like into some fights, I think. You can't Even do. if there's more dialogue Maybe you seen. should take a page out of her book and learn to make yourself more useful then. A little bit rude there, Law. I'd be happy to teach you if you want, Rinwell. I learned most everything I know from my brother. Really? Even how to sew and do laundry? Yes, indeed. He knew how to do anything. Sounds like he was a pretty handy guy when he was alive. He was. I'd always follow him around and badger him with questions. I was a real pain in the neck. <laughs> now that I think about it, he and Lagiel were the ones who taught me how to raise cats, too. Oh, nice. Lagiel is that woman who was with him in the gold dust cats, right? We do right? love cats around here. I remember now. The one with the really pretty hair. Funny you mention that. He also taught me how to maintain my hair. Not that those lessons stopped it from getting all tangled up during training. I think it still looks gorgeous. From what I can tell, it appears they're the only party, thing he didn't think? manage to teach you was how to apply makeup. No, but that didn't stop him from trying. He really wanted to teach me everything. Only reason he couldn't was because I prioritized my training. And here I was trying to make a joke. Hmm. I can't tell if she's being serious. The only one here who knows him well enough was her. Yeah, I guess only Megal could have told us if it's actually true. I wouldn't put it past him. Let's see what a, what's around here. Each shell. Speaking of which, I don't think we're kind of low on items, aren't we? Consumable items. I probably should use. Oh great! Oh, oh! I'm just re now realizing that. Yeah, I'm just now realizing that the the red items are distinct from the other items. I just I thought that I had just forgotten what the names were. Because yeah, red rosemary and all that. I knew that there were you know various herbs that we were collecting before. <clears throat> I knew we were collecting her herbs before, and when I noticed that there were ones with red in the name, I thought that I was just misremembering that they had always been named that, or something like that. But it seems that these are, in fact, distinct. Also, I should probably use these. <laughs> I should probably use these at some point. But, not just yet. Oh, I realized I also was going to uh, adjust my strategy, adjust my tactics. Or I was going to make another another set of tactics so that I could simply switch between, you know, one to use for general combat and one to use for boss fights. But I also forgot to do that, unfortunately. Coming through. I'm on it. Oh, and Can you take it? Can't get out of this. No dodging, please. Thank you. I'm very good, it. very good. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's a weird sort of uh, feeling being at a uh, at a different angle from the computer than I'm used to. 
Yeah, I'm at a different angle and at a different distance, and also the monitor's a different size. So, all, all sorts of, uh, all sorts of strange, you know. Very nice, very nice. Oh, yeah. Thank you as always for your efforts, Elfin. Alright, so that should be the last of them, I think. Very good. And I've also got to remember that I have a, another set of fruit. another set of moves that I can use. Got to keep that in mind. Also, now that we've uh, it seems like we're going to encounter more flying enemies. So I think we should probably put Xion back in the party. Well, I don't know. I guess we don't necessarily need Xion and Dohalim in the party at the same time. Oops. Yeah, we don't necessarily need them in the party at the same time. It wouldn't necessarily... Well, I don't know. For fighting wolves who are agile... Hmm. I don't know. I think Xion is fine because I don't... I don't believe any of her skills inherently do any more damage to flying enemies. I think it's just her boost attack that's anti-flying. Because, yeah, there's nothing... Oh, well. Maybe... <laughs> maybe this is that. Speaking of which, I should probably start... buying things again for Xion. And everyone else, too. I'm sure everyone else needs, uh... needs some points spent. Let's see, guard ignition. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or wait. Makes guard ignition moves deal more damage and harder to interrupt. So I guess guard ignition must be the special state that Kisara goes into when she, yeah, blocks a, blocks a move properly. Pardon. So yeah, for a while I was thinking that guard ignition referred to moves that can be used while guarding, but I don't think that's I don't think that's true necessarily. So yes, yeah, so what do we want to get on Kisara? Cover ah, right. I yeah, I thought that would be recovering health. But not quite, not quite. Okay, oh prevention. Absolutely, absolutely. Is your over limit? Hmm. Mid-air evasion. That's probably pretty good, especially because Kisara can't evade normally. Boost arts casting time. And hit boost gauge increase. Regenerate. Hmm. Okay, that's all. Yeah, we'll finish one out real quick. Since we've got enough points for it. Air pressure, recover. What do we? What do we want? Hmm. Increased time limit would probably be good. I don't feel like I'm not good enough at dodging to trigger that ability consistently. So being able to keep it keep it active for longer would be nice. Hmm. Let's see. A buff would be nice. And what do we want to invest in next? I think probably... Let's get Rinwell some cool new moves. Why not? Arts Gauge Recovery could have been nice, maybe, but we'll get it at some point, I'm sure. Awakening Attack. Easier Awakening Over Limit. That could be good. I'm starting to get a better hold of Law's Mechanics. Such that I am able to trigger awakening more consistently. That's nice. Might as well pick that up too. And Alfin. What do we want for Alfin? Near death. Um. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, do we have anything that we can? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say. Do we have anything that we can just purchase one more skill in to clear out the title? And indeed, we did. Midair jump is fine, I suppose. 
didn't really think about too much about what this uh, implied for us, but it should be basically fine. Critical damage, that could be nice. Mm, defense. Oh, weak point damage. Absolutely. Absolutely. And since we can afford it, we might as well get another title complete. So yeah, that should be most of our party members pretty well kitted out on skills for right now. At the very least, I don't really feel like spending more skill points. But yes. I think... Well, no. Yeah. We just... Yeah. We just established... We just established that uh, Xion does have increased damage against flying enemies. So we'll switch her into the party. We'll give her the... What was it? The... Spirit Bangle. There we go. So yeah, we should be able to switch... Yeah. Equip something that someone already has. And honestly, I kind of want to put Kisara back in the party. You've not had her around for a while. We'll switch Kisara in over Rinwell. Do we want to? I don't know. Part of me wants to play as as uh, Chion because it's been a very long time since I played Chion. Oh yeah, and especially now that we can, now that we can get the, or no, whoops, arts, there we go. Yeah, and I do have, okay, I do have the, the second set, set up. Hmm, whoops. Toxicity, Scorched Earth, Trace, Ace of Enthos. Displode. Displode's an interesting, interesting name for a skill. Yeah, let's let's get into some combat with flying creatures. So we can get an, get a taste of yeah, get a taste of Xion's combat. Oh well, at least I knocked down one of them, I guess. Yeah, let's. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. Do, do we have anything on Xion that like launches? Yeah, I'm not sure. We can, we can break enemies surprisingly easily, apparently. But yeah, it's definitely a lot more, a lot more static. Chion's fighting style. Ooh, Scorcher. Really cool. so yeah, I guess. I don't know. Maybe, maybe her she's a, bit, a little bit better suited for flying than. Or not flying, or airborne combat than other characters. Because yeah, her aerial attacks are a little bit more interesting than, than most others. They're flashier, if nothing else. Somehow, things are even worse outside the city than they are inside. Yeah, it's all ruined. Houses and everything else. Even if it was all in the name of beating the Renans, this is. It is pretty bad. Pretty bad. Oh, I should also, uh... Yeah, our, our good friend Alfin was kind of low on health, health, so I should probably help him a little bit. Alright. Please assault these eagles, yes. Yeah, actually, if I angle it like this, I should be able to hit both of them. Very nice. Yes. It almost feels like everyone's, like, going out of their way to make Xion feel better or something. With how much everybody's talking about they, how they don't like flying enemies, and how much they wish Xion would uh, help them deal with the flying enemies. <laughs> we want to make sure that Xion knows that she's appreciated after her troubling experience in Rias, I think, maybe. Very nice, very nice. Very good, very good. And... Not gonna need to... Yeah, not gonna need to angle for the other one. I don't know that we... I care to... Yeah, use my boost attack on this last one. And probably we're not gonna get the chance to, it looks like. Very good, very good. 
Is there anything more magnificent than the musculature of a warrior? Perhaps it is in search of this perfect beauty that I myself am drawn into battle. Huh? All right, so Wilhelm's reaction upon falling is, yeah, pretty, pretty relaxed. Well, not relaxed, but uh, reserved as his as his Alvin, his walk. have you been washing your clothes? It may not be my place to say this, but frankly, they're starting to stink. Sit. Now that you mention it, it has been a while since I did any laundry. That's I'll not wash good. them for you if you want. Just remember to give them to me the next time you get changed. Oh, okay. Sure. Thanks, Kisara. And, Law, Rinwell, yours are starting to look a bit ragged. What do you expect? Of course they're going to tear up when we're out there fighting so much. Yeah, but it's still kind of embarrassing having it pointed out like this. And Xion? <laughs> Xion's clothing is immaculate I as always. Touch me if I were you. Of course. My apologies. All I wanted to say was that your sleeves are getting a little bit dirty. You don't need to worry so much, Kisara. It's only natural our clothes are going to get a little dirty while we're traveling around. That's no excuse. Your outward appearance <laughs> says a lot about your inner well-being. Now you've really set her off. Suffice to say, yeah, we can't be violating our uniform regulations. Still of course. alive and well within her. What do you mean? What do the guardsmen do that's so special? Mostly. I'm simply referring to the fact that they're a very regimented and cleanly group of people. Makes do sense. I really Makes sound sense. that weird to you guys? Keeping your clothes clean and mended is completely normal to me. Don't get normal. us wrong. We appreciate the thought, Kisara. But we've got a long journey ahead. It wouldn't hurt to relax your standards just a little. If you're sure. I wasn't trying to overdo it, I promise. However, if it's making the rest of you tense, I'll do my best to tone it down from here on out. Still, if everyone could bring their laundry and clothes they want fixed, that'd be great. I'll take care of it all for you guys tonight. Don't really you ever get tired? That, sure. Yes. Bill yeah. Helene. Bill Helene, I don't think, has any abilities that specifically target. Yeah, that specifically targets enemies that, uh, or doesn't, maybe not yet at least, have any abilities that specifically do extra damage to enemies that are, uh, or rather, he doesn't have a skill that causes him to deal extra damage to enemies specifically that are, yeah. Let me take a moment to organize my thoughts there. He doesn't have any abilities that cuff or any skills that cause him to deal extra damage to enemies that could dodge in the same way that Xion does extra damage to enemies that fly or Rinwell does to enemies that are dragons. Yeah, I've got to say, I feel like over the course of the adventure, I feel like over the course of the adventure, Alvin's become sort of a... he's sort of come out of his shell to a certain extent. He was never like shy per se he was never shy per se but yeah he's definitely now he's more a little bit more talkative and a little bit more enthusiastic when he talks I think. which i guess you know makes sense given that he's been in a now in a situation where he's not sort of living his whole life just being in a pretty awful way so yeah, he lives a pretty okay life nowadays. So I can't, I certainly cannot fault him for, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, certainly cannot fault him for being a little bit more enthusiastic. Hmm, I should, like, heal people, huh? We're thinning them out. We? More like me. I'll admit I'm impressed. Did you just kill me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Very good, very good. Fine work, everybody. Everyone hanging in there. Now, I remember an NPC gave us some directions. Unfortunately, I don't remember what those directions were. There's a campfire down there, but I don't Oh, okay. So I'd be able to Yeah, pretty easily get back up. I was going to refrain from going to that campfire because I wasn't 100% sure where we would uh, 
come out of if we went down that hey, way, but it seems like it's, it's fine. Yeah. Oops. But yes, it is in fact rice. Oh, I think I've accidentally stumbled upon the place that's plot relevant. So maybe uh, I shouldn't be here immediately. I guess we are a little bit overdue for plot progress, but it's getting a little bit late. Plus, I'd like to I'd like to rest a little bit. This place gives me the creeps. You really think that lord is hiding out here? A foreboding place is a place that people aren't going to want to search too much, so it makes energy. sense. Something's not quite right about this place. How hmm. are you able to pick up on all this stuff anyway? Is it something that all astral arts wielders can do? I must admit, I'm curious myself. Perhaps her den and bloodline has something to do with it. <clears throat> that would seem to imply that it's not something that just Don't anyone with astral arts can do. Apologies. I meant no disrespect. Stay alert, everyone. There's a good chance that she already knows we're here. Something well, feels odd here. Let's psych her out by leaving and then coming back. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? We could do that. Oh, also there's owls around. I'll continue to serve you all until these unceasing winds blow out the final flame. Everyone's being very poetic today, huh? Yes. A fine harvest. Yes. Honestly, given that I don't check on the ranch very often, it'd probably be better to probably be better to save the gold and only only yeah, only pay for more meat rather than faster meat. Stay strong and rooted to the ground like a big old tree. That way, whatever troubling winds come your way won't be you won't be blown away. So yes, there's certainly more cooking to be done now, and we get additional benefit from it. So that's very good. Bent out of shape. Oh. I know what you mean. Hard to settle down after seeing all those ruins. We fought hard to help liberate the people of Dana, but every realm we've been to along the way could have easily turned out like this. When powerful forces collide, the destruction they leave gets that much worse. So mm. we've been lucky things haven't turned out worse up until now? Regardless, I don't want to see this realm get messed up any more than it already is. We have for to sure, capture this lord sure. ourselves no matter what. So, let's see no, what there I mean, is to say. Their bracers were getting dirty. So I polish them up along with the rest of your equipment. Why, thank you, Kisara. I greatly appreciate that. Maybe it's just my imagination, but you sure seem to fuss over Dohalim a whole lot, Kisara. I mean, to be it fair, that was her strange. job for an extended Almost period of like time. Almost like still in his service. To have really? it, you know? That's certainly not my intention. Besides, well, actually, he's not the only one I'm like that. You know what I could do? I hey, could finish off this. Uh, I saw your clothes were starting to get holes in them. Yeah, so finish I off this uh, video with some fishing. Oh wow! So there is a Thanks, fishing spot Kisara. to go to. Point taken. Do you just like looking after people? You're nice I like that. I wouldn't go so far as to say I like it, but I get anxious if I don't. I'd right, always like enough. to help if I can. It comes naturally to me. Back in the day, Miguel and I used to look after the younger kids a lot, so that's probably where it comes from. Mm. He taught me Makes everything sense. I Makes know, sense. and I mean everything. How to cook with wild plants, how to sew clothes so they'll last. Without him, we never would have been able to survive. However, you're not a lord anymore, Dohalim. You need to get used to the idea that people aren't just going to wait on you hand and foot. Yes, you're absolutely right. I'm ashamed to admit that I felt no qualms about her doing all that for me. As both a Renan and especially as a Lord, one becomes too accustomed to those beneath you tending to your every need, both Renans and Danans alike. Mm. Sure, that's how all you Renans are probably raised. But just to be clear, we're not your servants, Doholim. Got that? Absolutely. Moments such as this provide me with ample opportunity to confront my unease. It is difficult to tend with my own motivations. What do you mean? And the truth of the matter is that my espousal of coexistence in Menencia hardly came from an idealistic place. That instinctive unease I feel deep within serves as a reminder for what it is that I, that all of us here, fight for. Mm. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one's going to abandon you if you aren't always perfect. Looking at her now, I think she's more like his mom than his servant. Fair enough. She does have that. 
does have that sort of vibe, I suppose. It's been a while since we've had uh, What's up, Kisara? You skits look over the fire, I think. It's happened before. Oh, no, it's just... I'm it's happened at before, I'm pretty sure, but it's been a, taken it has definitely dive. been a long time. I don't remember us making any big purchases, though. Ah, that may be because I borrowed a small amount to purchase something the other day. Sit. I don't think you can call spending more than half of our money a small amount. <clears throat> half? Yo, Halim, what the hell did you buy? As it so mm. happens, I came upon a rather special object that I've long been searching for. Uh -huh. Are you talking about that junk? Uh, I mean, that uh, unique-looking trinket you're holding? Whoa, is that a... Indeed. It is a lost artifact from ancient Danon times. Most likely, it was used for some sort of rite or ritual. Nice. Ever since we Renans conquered Dana, such objects have been disappearing. I simply want to do my part to help preserve both our people's storied histories. That's gonna earn you some well, points with, uh, if with it's Rinwell, to I think. Dan and history, then I guess we can maybe look the other way. Just this once? I don't know. Why spend money on something that won't even keep us fed? We can get More to the food. point, we <laughs> all contribute to that money. I don't like the thought of anyone dipping into it without saying anything. You must understand. Had I let that opportunity pass me by, I'd never have come across this item again. Dohalim, maybe no one taught you that money doesn't well, grow Well, absolutely on nobody trees. thought in that. I may have been a lord, but I realized that much. It's not enough to simply realize it. You have to internalize the concept, too. Even after all this time, you still have no real sense of money. Our funds aren't your personal wallet. We camp outside and eat grass for dinner to try and stretch every last gold we have. You never know when we may need it. Uh, I don't think we're so poor that we have to eat grass or anything. Yeah, we're pretty Alvin. good. <laughs> Shutting. Let's just agree to not spend too much or be too thrifty for our own good. This has been a fun, fun Alvin, episode for character dialogue. Draws its power from Shion's Firemaster Core, right? So I'm told. Prob this you this you probably isn't the. You yeah, mean he probably doesn't understand the mechanics yes. of it too, too much. Yeah, I mean, you still carry it around with you, don't you? Yeah, we do have do. all the ones that oh, each master core contains each lore the astral that we've energy so harvested from Dan and slaves over the course of the last three centuries. Though only a select few qualified people, namely the lords, can wield them, they nevertheless hold too much power to simply abandon. If only the lords are supposed to be able to use them, how come Alfin and Shion can use theirs? I mean, only the lords are supposed Shion to has embedded be the fire using master them. core within her body, something which wouldn't have occurred under normal circumstances. Hmm. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, but why do you still carry yours around? I mean, who else Just is going to What's he going to What's he going to leave? Who's he going to leave it with? Resources robbed from them. So too, do I view mine as a symbol of our lasting sins, the pain and agony wrought upon this world by my predecessors as well as the injustice enabled by my own inaction, are all housed within my master core. That's it is it. a testament of all that I have done wrong. It cannot ever be used again, nor fall back into the wrong hands. That's a good way of looking at it. <sighs> Dohalim. You didn't differentiate between the deaths of Danans and the deaths of Renans. Danans and Renans both spill blood and languish in agony all the same. I just couldn't bear to hear it any longer. That's all. A little late for that. He's trying. Yeah, let's do some cooking. Anything? I guess the new things aren't listed, so we'll just go over, go over the effects. But yes. So dark, dark mark makes you easier to detect when making contact with enemy icons. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I guess we could cook it and see, but yeah, easier to detect when making contact with enemy icons. Does that does that mean that it's easier for enemies to detect us? Does that mean it's easier for us to detect us? Hmm. Well, anyway, I don't think have we had Dohalim cook yet? I still want to get some sea bream. I still want to get sea bream. I want to get more experience. But yes. Vegetable soup, curry. Curry's new. I know the curry's new. 
vegetable juice. Hmm. Ah, vegetable juice and vitamin smoothie. Okay. So yeah, I guess I wasn't keeping super close track of what new recipes we were getting. It does feel very appropriate that uh, Kisara would specialize in both of these, though. <clears throat> Nochi, apple pie. Um, I was kind of looking for if there was anything that impacted our fishing in any way. But there doesn't seem to be. Hold on, I think someone... Someone wanted something cooked, right? Let's see. Roasted chicken. Okay, that's exactly what I was thinking of. I saw roasted chicken and I, and I was reminded that someone wanted to cook something. I wasn't sure what it was, but as it turns out, it is roasted chicken, so that's probably why I thought of it. Favorite meals cooked. So we do need do need Kisara to do some more cooking. We need Kisara to do some more cooking. We need we need uh, Alfin to do just a little bit more cooking here. Ice cream. Oh, nice! I can't wait till we have ice cream. <coughs> So yeah, I guess since it's the quickest one to act upon, we might as well make the roasted chicken. And we'll see what that does. This is great. The taste and aroma will blow everyone away. Maybe that's what draws in the enemies. They can smell the roasted chicken on us. Hey, what's the smoke? Is it an enemy attack? Oh. Seriously, it's making my hmm. eyes and throat burn. What the hell is going on? Apparently, Alfin's not so it's good at making chicken. probably some sort of gas. Try not to breathe it in as much as you can manage. Gas? Those cowards! Isn't this just cooking smoke? What kind of food makes your throat burn so bad just from the smoke? Chicken, apparently. I believe Alfin is. <clears throat> They're trying to gas Alfin? What? Those sick bastards! I won't let them get away with this! Calm yourselves and listen. I was simply trying to say that Alfin is the one cooking. Using oh? the blazing sword, perhaps. Hmm. Maybe I should throw in some more spices, just for that extra kick. Yeah, that'll help. I think I'll turn up the heat while I'm at it, too. Might be a little uh, bit too spicy. Oh, crap. The spices burned. Well, uh, at least the meat's coming along nicely. All right. Now I just flip it over, and then... Uh... uh... Uh, hey, Alfin, what, uh, what are you doing over there? Oh, this is the most trepidation any of our party has, ex has expressed, I think. Chicken. Call everybody over so we can eat together. I used a ton of spices, so it's got a good punch to it. Might have overcooked it a little, but it should still taste good. I'm starting to understand why your food always tastes so damn spicy now. Hasn't anyone told him that it is actually possible to have too much of a good thing? Well, he can't if feel the, the pain. If he truly wants, far be it from me to contradict. His cuisine is a rather delicate repast. Yeah, he cannot feel the pain of excessive spiciness, so... It only makes sense that he would, uh... Yeah, that he would perhaps overindulge a little bit. <laughs> yeah, who do we want to talk to? I feel like it's been longer since we had a conversation with Rinwell. But I feel like Law's come up a few times and been passed over already, so I think we'll talk to Law. Mind if I join you, Law? Hmm? Oh, hey, Alfin. What's up? Nothing. I was just surprised to see you weren't training for once. Got a stomach ache or something? From that chicken, uh, perhaps? You know I don't literally train around the clock, right? I do take breaks. Do you? It seems like you're training every chance you get. Yeah, it looks like we might. Well, yeah. Might it just not have time to do some stronger. fishing. Still, we could, but I don't want to stay too late here. Every now and then. That's what my dad told me anyway. Zephyr said that? When I was a little kid, yeah. I would get so excited whenever he came home. I always followed him wherever he went and tried to learn as much from him as I could. He said, it's good to be passionate, but don't overdo it. Just like there are times when you want to take a break from studying, sometimes your body wants to take a break from training, too. Mm. I was always Good rushing around wisdom. and forgetting to rest, so he ended up telling me that a lot. 
That definitely sounds like him. It's nothing to get sad over. Still, I can't help but wonder if that was my dad's way of teaching me the dangers of rushing into things too quickly. Then again, maybe I'm just overthinking things. Overthinking is not. I wish I'd had not more time to talk to do. him about this kind of stuff. <laughs> Closer to law. Nice. Yeah, I think I think we'll call it here. All right, emblem obtained. Infernal tongue. Very nice. Alfin may not might not sense any pain, but his taste buds are alive and well. In fact, his lack of pain might have simply made them stronger. Iron cleaver. Ao prevention. <clears throat> Increased counterattack critical hit rate. Increased uh, increases attack or increased near death attack and elemental attack. Yeah, it definitely seems like we're getting more. <clears throat> that was a weird, weird little increase in pitch there. But uh, it definitely seems like we're getting more counterattack, or we're getting the the opportunity to see more counterattack abilities. Or at least we I've seen one other. One other right here. You guys ready to hit the road? I know I am. So yeah. Yes, I think yeah, I think that black black spot black mark thing must be Yeah, must be cooking or cooking? Yes, it is cooking related. But it must be enemy detection related, I assume. So I think before I go, can I climb this? No, I can't. Yeah. I'll see if I can get a little bit closer to enemies and see if I can aggro them from further away. Seems like it, yeah. But I don't feel like fighting right now, so we're just going to leave. So I guess it doesn't really matter what I do. I suppose it doesn't really matter what I do because I've already saved, so... That sequence lasted for a little bit longer than I was expecting. But anyway, so let's wrap things up today. Or today even. Alright, now that I'm looking directly at the screen again, my face is not quite so weird. <laughs> but yes, so it has been a fine stream. Yeah, no serious issues. I wouldn't go so far as to say that there were no issues whatsoever, but no serious issues. But, um, yeah, I'll definitely have to tweak my tracking a little bit more, and possibly I may just have to abandon the idea of using the RTX tracking if it simply refuses to, to work properly. Let's stretch a little bit. Very nice. But yeah, been a lot of fun. Yeah, a little bit late. A little bit late, but I'm not too tired. I'm feeling pretty well. But yes. Um, let's see. What is there to say? Oh, yes. So, if anyone has any raid suggestions, as always, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, you know, I can always find a raid target myself. Um, let's see. Anything else? Um, oh, right. Business. So, today has been Tales of Arise. It has been fun, once again. It's always, it's nice to, uh... I definitely feel like I'm enjoying the game more, now that we're playing it more consistently again. Rather than the once every... Once every week, every other week or so that I was playing it before. I definitely enjoy games more when I play them more consistently. <clears throat> Helps me to stay attached to the, you know... Stay familiar with the story, stay attached to the characters, all that sort of stuff. But yes, so, Tales of Arise is, is, is a good game. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, that, so that is, that is all I have to say on tonight's stream, I suppose. Um, so, tomorrow, we are looking at probably, yeah, probably 8.30pm Central Time. Possibly a little bit later. But, uh, but yeah, my housemates should have returned by the time... Uh, yeah, should have returned and thus will be able to assist with dog maintenance and food preparation. Thus, I will probably not be delayed again as I was today. 
But yes. So that, yeah, we will we will see. But I'm expecting things shouldn't be delayed, shouldn't be delayed terribly much. On yeah, I expect things should not be delayed a lot. But yes. So other than that, um, where was I? Oh, Friday, Friday. So Friday, we should be seeing some more Tales of Arise. And that'll be at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. But yeah, no raid suggestions it looks like. So I, th so I think tonight we'll go and drop by... In fact, you know what? We'll go and we'll drop by someone we haven't seen in a very, very long time indeed. Yeah. Uh, we'll go and we'll visit uh, Ellie is Lost. Yeah, it's been a... Been a good while since I've since I've seen her stream. Seems that she has a a new uh, a new model also. That's nice. But yeah, so Ellie is lost. Ba -ba -ba. I've got to say the new computer is definitely definitely a, or the desktop is definitely a lot nicer to stream on. <laughs> it's definitely a lot nicer to stream on than the old laptop. And probably my setup's a little bit nicer too. My setup is a little bit troubling <laughs> right now. Cause I've got like I've got like a whole bunch of keyboards crammed into it. Well, two keyboards crammed into a very small space with with the mice and all that. So that I such that I can't really be centered on any of them while also having my view centered on any given screen. Which is less than ideal, but it is what it is. It's what must be done for the sake of the stream, so I will endure it. So yes. So. Yeah, Ellie is lost. Dreams. Yeah, I think that's all that needs to be said, basically. So yeah, she's playing some Fallout 3, it looks like. Because I should probably get the raid started. <laughs> yes, so. The raid message is, as always, or the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. So, I think that's all that needs to be said here. I already went over the schedule, I already went over the games. Yeah, or did I? I think I might not have mentioned the game tomorrow. It's VA11 Hall A Cyberpunk Bart Interaction with our good friend Sheppy Sheps. I feel like I said that, but I just wanted to make double sure. Yeah, so I think that's everything that needs to be said. So, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you will be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, looks like Ellie, Ellie just raided someone else. <laughs> all right, so I, uh, I wasn't paying as much attention as I should. So, oh, I guess, you know what, let's... I, I generally prefer to raid, uh... Oh. Well, uh, unfortunately, I am not interested in that, so... Looks like we're going to have to ban this, this uh... <laughs> this bot. Probably. Oh. Well, you know what? We'll deal with this. We'll deal with this later. Anyway. <laughs> let's set up for a different raid. Let's go and visit, uh... Let's go visit, uh... Van again. Uh, uh, uh. And I'll deal with the I'll deal with the chat bot in my in my own time. So yes. Playing some yeah, playing some Final Fantasy Final Fantasy 14 it looks like. Yeah, anyway. Uh I guess I already went over all the raid business, so <laughs> anyway. Uh farewell, I guess. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>